This is Louise for MMA Crazy and I'm here with one half of the main event for UFC London, Fabricio Verdum. How are you doing? Everything is great. Good. How are you uh, enjoying your time in London? I enjoy a lot. I mean, just come to the last Saturday here. I'm one week here and I love this country, you know, like a good restaurant. They get, everything is good here. They, I like the, the long energy. And obviously you've been to Europe many times before, fought in Europe before. What's it like to come back to London and headline this event? Yes, because my first fight in my career is here in London, you know. I fight uh, in 2002, my first fight in the MMA. And I uh, have a lot of fights here too, you know. And um, it's very good. I love, you know, I love, I enjoy. My, my sister living here too for a long time. My mommy lives in Spain. I live in Europe for a long time too. And I love uh, Europe. I, I think I'm, I'm happy, you know, I'm just happy because I'm the main event. I think uh, I hope the big show on Saturday. And what kind of, have you had a, a lot of reactions from the European fans? And if so, what, what, what have they been like? Yes, I, I receive a lot of messages from the, yeah, the European fans in my social media, in Instagram, Facebook. You guys say, never do I'm very happy because you come to fight here again. I know I have a lot of fans to Spain come to the, uh, watch the fight. I'm happy too because you know the, the the arena is sold out. This is amazing. I think the first week is finished the the tickets, and uh, it's good. Everything is great. So you're fighting Alexander Volkov. Um, were you hoping for more of a higher ranked opponent as your next bout? Yeah, this the the rank is uh, is not very important for me. The rank for sure the four ten people's force is very important. You know, top ten, but. I know he's a very, uh, a very tall guy, good stand up. I trained with him before, you know, and I think it's a good fight. But I take care all the time. I'm hands up because I know he's a danger guy. He he have a three victory in UFC, and um, in front of me, you know, I just pass him for the next step. So he's coming off a TKO win over Stefan Struve. What did you think of his performance? Nah, his performance amazing. You know, I know Stefan Struve is very tall guy too, and he have a good punch. But uh, Volkov beat him like a very nice uh, fight, excited fight too. But I hope so he don't he don't beat me. <laughs> so how have you been preparing for his skill set? What has preparation been like? Has it been any different to normal? No, don't, no, the big difference. Just a smart training because uh, I have a four years old. There's a big difference before I I fight for 20 years, and just smart training. And uh, good strategy, you know. I just uh, change the strategy. Depend the the, the fight, the, the my opponent. I, I have fat fat guy. I, I I call maybe three four guys, the sparring guys for fat guys, you know. When I, he's a very tall guy, I don't have a tall guys too, skin guys I like a hand, and uh, that's it. Just adapted the little things. Um, and how do you think the fight would unfold? Do you see it mainly staying on the on the feet, or are you keen to take this to the ground? Yeah, he tries staying the feet, you know. But I mean, I think it's a MMA, everything, you know. I uh, I think going the ground too. He have a good defense, but I I'm training a lot of balls, you know. I train in the ground. I train in stand up too. I'm very completed. I'm very confident for this fight for the next step. Have you seen any weaknesses in his game that you're going to take advantage of? Yeah, I don't like to talk about the the advance, you know. I think. Uh, he have good uh, stand up and a good, good defense in the ground. You know, I just um, I think my the advantage I have the the experience. I have a lot of experience for 20 years. He he very young guy. He had 29 years old. You know, he had very young like a kid. <laughs> Do you think you're his toughest test so far in his career? Yes, for me. Uh, he, if, you, for if you are. Yes, I think it's a good test for him too because you know uh, he very young guy. Uh, he's nice guy, and I'm talk, I don't talk about bad things about him. He, he, he helped me before two years ago. I trained with him too, and um, just fight, just professional inside the cage, and that's it. And this is an important fight for both of you because you want to get into the title picture. Um, with a win over him, where do you think that would put you, and how far away do you think you would be from getting a shot at the title? Yes, I'm, I'm th I think I'm the next one after this victory. I, I'm the next one. You know, I wanna fight for the, the, the title shot, the belt, I, doesn't matter who is there, uh, maybe Daniel Cormier or Stimio Teach. for me it doesn't matter, I want to fight for the title, just a given opportunity, and I show again the number three, because I got it two times before, 
just show again I'm the champion, I'm the best. And would you be willing to wait? Obviously that fight's not going to be happening, DC and, and, and Miocic, that, fight's, that fight between DC and yeah. Miocic is not going to be happening for a while, so are you going to are you gonna be happy to wait? Yes, I'm waiting, yeah, for sure, you know, the guys fighting July 7, the UFC say we're doing, you wait, because you're the next one, I'm waiting, I'm just keep training, yeah, I hope, I hope the Steve Miocic beat him, you know, I, I hope so. Uh, I think because you know I know saw the 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 Daniel Cormier beat uh, how I know I don't know how was he I, I you know it's so hard I see the this fight like a Daniel Cormier beat him but it's possible everything is happening in the fight you know but I think uh, I, my next one is a uh, similar teach. And uh, what can the fans expect to see? What kind of fight will they expect to see on Saturday? Uh, the fans uh, waiting for the big big fight on uh, Saturday. You know, uh, I hope I'm very good. I have good condition. I fight for five rounds, maybe two or three. I don't know, but you know, I, the guys better like a good fight, big show. And how do you pitch yourself getting the win? I think I mean I gotta hit in the ground. You know, I think I maybe big surprise. I finish him in, in the stand up two. I don't know, it's like a surprise. <laughs>